Here come the Conservation Banquets, the National Wild Turkey Federation holding their banquet in Elwood coming up this Friday. It is the Muddy Creek Gobblers and it's going to be held at the Elwood Civic Center. I'm going to that one, so I hope to see you there for that great banquet coming up this Friday. Well, coming up as well, the Saturday following that Friday, how about next Saturday? It is the Big Mac Strut and Tom's Hunting Heritage Banquet. It will be held at the, Hall, or the Quality Inn right off I-80 in Ogallala. Other conservation uh, action coming up, but first the Dad's Lads and Lasses still holding that predator hunt. It expands both Friday and Saturday, a $50 entry for teams. And Steve or Ryan, the guys to call on that, write those numbers down. Of course, you can always catch the uh, episode on the outdoorfiles.com to write some of that information down if you need to as well. Here they are, the Ducks Unlimited Banquets coming up next Saturday. It is the Greater York Dinner, and that, of course, uh, will be held out at uh, the Stone Creek Event Center in McCool Junction. And then there's the South Central Dinner on the same date at the Balcony, East Highway 23. And of course, that will be in Loomis. Pheasants Forever actually uh, having their banquet starting up towards the end of the month, or at least the ones in our viewing area. The ninth annual Webster County Banquet will be held at the Blue Hill Community Center. And then, of course, that statewide habitat meeting and banquet on February 7th. It's a Saturday, and it will be held at the Young's Conference Center in Kearney. Well, we have one picture this week. We got through all the deer pictures, and this is an outstanding one. This is Tanner Thompson. He's 12 years old. Check out that. That's a banded goose, and they're called a barred goose or a banded goose. Now, these barred geese are found primarily at Quill Lake up in Canada, in Saskatchewan, the province of Saskatchewan. So, kind of rare. They do travel through Nebraska, but it's not very often you get such a pronounced barred goose. So congratulations uh, to Tanner for picking up that beautiful bird. Well, if you'd like more information on the outdoor files, check out these websites and send those pictures to me at kbouton at nebraska.tv. That is the outdoor files. Sarah, back to you.